Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Wednesday, May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, great day uh, profit wise for me today, plus 3,517. After getting chopped up early, uh, came back with a vengeance and uh, booked uh, one of my better day trading P&Ls uh, in quite some time. So let's go over these and I'll show you what happened. Uh, to start with, we had one mighty 90 in Roku. This was my biggest winner, plus 2,525. Now, this started out as a mighty 90. I ended up managing part of the position as a runner. Uh, so, you know, however you want to classify that, it's fine. But uh, I'm just, I'm putting it in the mighty 90 because that's how, that's how I entered it. If I entered it as a mighty 90, it goes in the mighty 90 category. And then on the pairs trade, did two pairs trades uh, in Dow versus NASDAQ. Got in, was, in, was only in this one for about 10 minutes, booked 725. Uh, a little while later, got in again and booked a little over, almost 1100. So plus 1820 on the pairs today. Now, I usually on my pairs trades, I'm doing the micros, you know, micro ES versus micro Russell or micro NASDAQ versus micro Dow. I just had a level of confidence here. And so I, I went up to the bigger contracts. Uh, I'll show you and I'll show you what I was looking at there when we get to the platform. And then on the runners, uh, I did actually, this is uh, two winners. I originally had Roku in my runners. Okay, so two winners, three losses. Amazon, a big winner for 2165. Boeing, minus 762. Microsoft, minus 620. Uh, Netflix, plus 600. And Tesla, minus 2211. So let's go over these and I will show you what happened. Uh, let's start with the Mighty 90 in Roku. Well, actually, before I do that, let me just let me start with kind of my mindset going into today. So yesterday in the NASDAQ specifically, there's a huge sell-off, right? It was down almost 3% at one point, bounced back a little bit. And then uh, overnight, continued to bounce uh, a little bit higher. So the market opened up, the NASDAQ opened higher. And and so I was really looking for, so my kind of my thesis, and I talked about this um, in, the, in the trading live stream room where uh, my, my thought was, I think we're going to probably bounce, get a little bit more of a continuation bounce, and then this thing's going to fall apart. And uh, that, that actually did happen. Unfortunately, I did not take advantage of any of that. And, and I'll, show you, I'll show you why. So let's go over the trades, and I'll kind of touch on that as we go. I just want to kind of give you that initial uh, details before we jump in. So the first, the first trade, the Mighty 90, was in Roku. And what I was looking at here is had this initial flush down and this bounce got some uh, higher volume on this bounce. So we got short right here and on this flush, I got out of a bunch here and then, and so that's kind of your typical mighty 90. And, and here's how I, I managed the rest as a runner is I basically just held on. I was looking for continued weakness, specifically in NASDAQ tech types, tech type stocks. And, and Roku felt really heavy. It felt like, you know, it was going to just stay weak. And that's certainly what happened. So I, I literally held, uh, held some all the way down to, I got rid of my last piece, like right down here. So just a fantastic trade there in Roku. Also, today's Wednesday. So kind of Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are typically my best P&L days. And so, uh, you know, I picked some spots to go a little bit heavier on size, and Roku, uh, Roku was one of those. So that worked out really well for plus 2,525. Uh, on the pairs trades, let's go to the pairs trades. I want to talk about those a little bit and kind of what my, what my thought was. So we had this initial weakness um, in the NASDAQ specifically. And then, and then we started to bounce and I, I was looking for another flush lower. Now we never got that, uh, originally it just kind of kept pushing, pushing, pushing. And then, and then the NASDAQ started getting really heavy. It was, it was, it was trying to push, trying to push and not really getting anywhere. Whereas the Dow and the S and P were just boom, 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 just continue to hit new highs. In fact, the Dow hit a new all time high today. And so I was, I was still looking at the NASDAQ as potentially getting weak and it, and it was acting from the price action, acting really heavy. I didn't want to just get short NASDAQ futures, uh, but so that's where I got in on the pair that my first pairs trade where I went sh short the NASDAQ, but I hedged it with a long Dow. And you can see the Dow is continuing to hit new all time highs as I'm recording this uh, at about 1.30 p.m. Central. And so uh, my first, so you can see kind of what the Dow was doing. Uh, and I was really focused on the NASDAQ. And, and so I got on my first pairs trade when the NASDAQ bounced here after this, after this flush, 
That's where I really wanted to kind of get short. Uh, but instead of just getting short NASDAQ, I hedged it, went long Dow, short NASDAQ. And on this flush, just in this 10 minute flush right here, uh, caught, or 10 or 15 minutes, caught uh, that $725 winner in that pairs trade. And then this thing kind of started chopping up again. And I got short again about, or, right, or I did another pairs trade, short NASDAQ versus long Dow here. Took a little bit of heat against it, and then this thing just flushed again, and I got out again for another 1100 uh, bucks, 1095 to be exact. So, <coughs> excuse me. So that was my thought process uh, and the way I was managing those uh, those two pairs trades. And then on to the runners. So Amazon, my biggest runner winner. So uh, at that same time, you know, I was, I was continuing to watch the different stocks and, and how they were re relating to the price action in the indices. Like I said, S&P and Dow were just pumping higher highs, higher highs, and NASDAQ was starting to get heavy. So I was looking for tech-related stocks, NASDAQ-type stocks. Amazon fit the bill. It was just kind of chopping around at break-even, not really going anywhere. And so when it bounced up, when it, when it pushed into negative territory and then bounced up here, that's where I got short. And I rode this thing, uh, got my, out of most of it there. And I think on this bounce, I took another leg down and got out of the rest there. So nice trade in Amazon for 2165. Did four contracts there, so that worked out well. Uh, Boeing, Boeing chopped me up early in the day. And, and what happened here is I was looking at this as a, a volume runner, had some big volume in here. And so on this, um, on this bounce, I got short looking for a continuation lower. Well, you can see that happened. Unfortunately, it flushed me out. My criteria is if it breaks above the high volume bar, which was this one at the time, uh, and you can see it just barely did that. And that's when I just cut out, took a, took a small loss there. And then, um, and then, and so I missed that entire flush and I, and I can't remember, I think I was trying to get filled on a reversal here and just never got filled and it just took off without me. So I completely missed that. Then it started chopping around down here below this pivot. So I thought, okay, I think we're probably, assuming this market does get weak, uh, we're gonna see another flush lower. Well, that didn't happen. Boeing pushed up and so I just cut out and took another loss there. So got chopped up back to back in Boeing. Microsoft. Microsoft was another runner here where I was looking at, so we had that, again, that initial weakness, started chopping around here. I was looking for another flush lower, never happened, bounced up, and I just cut out for a loss in Microsoft. Um, and actually, I think I may have held through all this. I think it, when it bounced this time is where I cut out. Uh, and then Netflix, had a winner in Netflix for plus 600. Uh, Netflix, same, same kind of time that I got in Amazon, just is, is staying weak, chopping around unchanged, up and down, up and down. So when it bounced up to the unchanged here, that's where I got short. Took a little bit of heat, and then it flushed down, got out of some, bounced, flushed again, got out of some, chopped around, and I got out of my last piece uh, right down here after after that last flush. So a nice trade in Netflix for $600. did not did not did not take a big size in that one, but still a really nice trade. And then Tesla, Tesla, Tesla had my number today. Tesla got me for 2211. Uh, and in Tesla, again, you know, going back to my thought about, okay, we're going to see some initial strength and then some weakness. That did happen. Unfortunately, kind of like Boeing, Tesla flushed me out before it made that move. So my first, uh, my first entry was uh, I had that initial weakness on this bounce, got short, looking for a flush lower. Unfortunately, it pushed up too much, got me out. I cut out. So I took a small loss there. I got out pretty quick. So it was pretty small. And then uh, as it broke through, I was looking for a continuation higher. So when it pulled back here, I got long after this big volume spike, looking for a continuation higher. I was like, okay, Tesla's going to be strong today. It has the tendency to do that sometimes. And, uh, and, and this thing just flushed out. And so I took a loss there. And then uh, I, I, I almost got a bunch of it back uh, later in the day here. Um, Actually, I think I actually I think I took. Oh yeah, I took another trade here. So when it did make that flush and bounced, I got short here. Came down. I booked booked some profits. Uh, took some of the trade off, and then I was waiting for some more profit, some more downside, and then it just ripped higher. So got out of that one with I think either a minimal loss or I may have booked a little bit on that one. And then the the last leg, I traded Tesla a lot today. 
Uh, started getting weak again when it bounced up to unchanged. I got short here, caught a really nice move. I was up about 1500 bucks on that piece right there. I uh, got out of half of it. I was, I was looking for a little bit closer to the lows to get out of some more, never got there and then just ripped up. So I only, I only, uh, booked a couple hundred bucks on that leg where I was up about 1500. So ended up minus 22.11 net net on all my Tesla trades. Uh, but still very nice day today, plus 3,517. Hope everybody else had a good day. Remember, we will be streaming live tomorrow on Thursday, but offline on Friday. So look forward to seeing you then. Take care.